Okay, so I'm showing how to uh, fit a power supply into a motherboard. There's your motherboard, and these power, power supplies up here. Sometimes I have them down here. It's already been fitted, and as you can see, it's a bit of a spaghetti jack, but it's not just the power, there's also your data. Your data is here, there's data cables there. This one's going to the CD-ROMs up here. And uh, this one is going to this. I've just left it. And I need a proper bracket. That's that's just this uh, SSD. You can see this one here. It plugs right on that port there. It's a four-pin plug. Here you can see there is a close-up. It's a four-pin. Now some of they come with six and eight but it's got to go into the port down here and you have to just match it to that port. So your four pin is, is, is the power is split into two things. There's this one, this long one, which is 28 pin. I think it's 28 pin and uh, this four pin one. I just pulled out which is here that's your two power your two power ones so this one this four pin one goes on this side and this one 28 pin goes on that side of your motherboard and it's got this little kind of thing here if you can see that but it's um it's a little like a hook and it lifts up yeah it lifts so it, cl it clips on on a certain direction you can only go one direction you can't go that way you can you, so you can't make an error because there's a blocked there's some the different shapes here they have to fit in this these shapes they won't go in you can't put a square peg into a round hole so I've now taken all the bits off and here's your power all your power cables it's all as you can see it's all going together it's all one piece now okay. all a loom and you have your SATA power which is this thin one and you have your your Molex power, which is the older one, which is also is for usually for hard drives and CD ROMs. This is the rest of it. This is just the motherboard. The motherboard is another another thing installing it. So you just need your power, and on the power on this one it hasn't got it, but on power there will be another one for graphics card. So there might even be two for graphics cards and I'll show you in a minute. But that is basically it. It's your 28 pin power and your four pin power. And they go on different sides, one there and one here. Look for the four pin and it can only go one direction. And look for the, look for the 28 pin one. And again, it can only go one direction. This is the this is a, a six-pin connection, and that is for for uh, power to a graphics card. So it's got six sort of let's say six-pin. It's actually six sockets goes into like a six-pin connection, which you have on a graphics card. This one is a is a splitter. So it it uh, we've got it on two molex. There's two molexes. So you can get it on one, and then you would then take from the power. You take these two molexes, plug them in here. So that will go there. That will go there, and that will go here. 
again you can only go one around because that's square square there and it's rounded here so that can only go with that one way and then has to go in now you've got those two in that is giving power from the power supply and that is giving your graphics card power now some graphics cards you will need two of these and some even this is a six pin some take eight pin power but those are very usually quite more powerful cards um, the basic build you will probably only need one of these um, so you'd have to check to see your graphics card connections and see all your connections you just really need your power which is your 28 pin and your 4 pin so don't confuse the 4 pin power which is here there's your 4 pin power don't confuse that with the 6 pin right you won't you'll have them the same color but it's obviously here you can't confuse them because one's white but they'll be the same color they'll both either be white or both be black and one is six pin one is four pin but what some of the some of the four pin ones they come with an extra two on there an extra two and you could easily confuse it for one of these but it's not and uh, same with this the six pin something so you have another two so you can connect to an eight pin graphics card and again this four this four or something has two fours again don't confuse it with the graphics power because it won't work your motherboard won't boot up if you plug it in wrong so that's one one you could make one mistake you could make other than that it's pretty straightforward power to power and then connect up your mother your hard drive and your DVD that's it and then here this thing you have to decide where it goes does it go there's one side has got no air coming to it this side has got air coming to it you have to decide if you want it the air coming from the top of the machine or from underneath the machine if the top is blocked off if the top of your in this case the top is blocked off completely so if you put that fan on at the top that way round it will be stifled for air and if you what you really want to do is that one well that one you want it really there if it's going at the top and then it, it's blowing the air it's either blowing it or sucking the air out and then it goes either that either goes that sucks it in this will suck in the air sucks it in here air comes through here so it sucks it in there and it obviously it's going down blowing over your machine over your motherboard and your CPU processor so this side you want against the flat there but sometimes that sometimes they plug down the bottom in fact modern ones actually do plug down the bottom more than up the top the top is the old one that's the old style this is the more modern style down the bottom so the bottom you really do want this facing upwards so you want this facing downwards but some have they sometimes they have a little area it can go through underneath and it can blow air through so some of them do but they're very low to the ground it depends whether you want the air going across your across your system do you want the air blowing across your system or do you want it blowing out do you want it just sucked in and here 
because you've got to keep this thing cool. Do you want it sucked in and just blowing out? That's the question. So that's the basics of how to do a power, how to fit a power supply to a motherboard or to a PC. That's the basics. Very, very straightforward. Uh, it's just getting those two power ones connected. After that, it's all connecting up your hard drive. You know, you don't want really more than two hard drives or a hard drive SSD. You could you could go for three, two hard drives and one SSD. But you, you have to go by well, how many how many connections you've got, and then you've got to get, go for the uh, one for the DVD. That's that's your decision in the end. That's it. Thanks a lot.